Who wants to learn about the geologic time scale? You? Awesome! The largest increment of geologic time is called an eon, and they're easy to remember because there've only been four. Hadean, Archaean, Proterozoic, and Phanerozoic. It spells HAPP. To give you a sense of how long an eon is, the Phanerozoic eon started in the Cambrian period before spines evolved, and we're still in the Phanerozoic eon. Smaller than an eon is an era. The eras of the Phanerozoic were the Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic, which again is where we are right now. Smaller than an era is a period, and it was the last three periods of the Proterozoic Eon, plus all of the periods of the Phanerozoic Eon that I sang you in that song. Smaller than a period is an epoch, also pronounced epoch, and the reason the Anthropocene isn't in the Geologic Time Period song is because it's not a period, it's a proposed, not universally accepted, epoch. I shouldn't be in charge of geologic terminology decisions because I'm not a geologist, so do not ask my professional opinion on this. Um, but if you want my two cents on the Anthropocene, I'm torn. I think it's really important to acknowledge the impact that human behavior has on the environment and on the planet. I'm also super wary of our tendency to hyper-categorize things that are close to us and overestimate our importance in the universe. And if the Anthropocene is an epoch, then the Holocene, which is the previous or current epoch, depending on your thoughts on the Anthropocene, would be really, really short. Much shorter than what we have categorized as epochs previously in the whole geologic timescale. So, I, I, I don't know. I think it's a nice political idea. It seems a little self-important, but I'm not a geologist, and good thing nobody asked me.